Huawei surpasses Apple as the world's second largest smartphone brand, the Red Sox are using smartwatches to cheat in baseball, and the EU is toying with the idea of following in China's footsteps by implementing internet censorship. It's all the tech news that's popular right now. It's Thursday, September 7th, and I'm Mandy Kovacs. On Google Trends today is the news that Chinese smartphone maker Huawei has overtaken Apple in global phone sales for the first time ever, making it the second largest smartphone maker in the world behind Samsung. A study by CounterPoint Research says these impressive sales are thanks to the company's strong research and development, as well as aggressive and creative marketing. However, with Apple potentially debuting three new iPhones next week, the company will almost certainly be back on top by the end of the year. And from Twitter, the Boston Red Sox have been accused of using an Apple Watch to steal hand signs in games against the New York Yankees. This MLB inquiry has been going on for about two weeks after Yankees general manager Brian Cashman filed a complaint with the league. Footage shows a Red Sox trainer looking at his Apple Watch in the dugout and then relaying a message to teammates on the field. Repercussions have yet to be announced, but experts say Boston will likely be fined. And finally from Reddit, leaked documents from the Council of the European Union show that Estonia, which currently holds the EU presidency, has been pushing other member states to strengthen internet surveillance and to adopt online censorship similar to those in China. As part of its proposal, Estonia is toying with the idea of having a user upload filter that would be under the control of platforms and companies hosting content online, or having these platforms be liable for copyright infringing content uploaded by users. That's what's trending today. Hashtag Trending is produced by IT World Canada. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and now with our new Alexa Flash briefing skill. Once again, I'm Mandy Kovacs.